Can hydraulic models support optimal resilience planning and investments? Can hydraulic models provide operational support to guide our responses to incidents? When we build purely demand-driven models, we assume that all model demand can be supplied. This isn't always the case and it can reduce confidence in the model. Take for example these two DMAs. Let's assume that the DMA2 inlet becomes isolated. How much of its demand can be supplied through the connecting boundary valve? This apparently easy question can't be easily answered with a normal demand-driven model where pressure will be based on unachievable flows. This means we can't simply reconfigure the network and report flow through the valve. That's why we've extended InfoWater Pro to model pressure-dependent demand to better represent the real network behaviour. The DMA highlighted with the red dashed line is fed by a single pipe. When we look at the flow through the boundary pipe, we can see that for normal network operations, there's flow going out from the DMA. Should all the pumping stations in the DMA fail for some reason, we can see a flow reversal at the boundary pipe, which is now conveying all of the requested usage within the DMA. However, that's not realistic flow for that pipe to deliver. We can double check that just by looking at the pressure on a remote junction. We can see the pressure drops to a negative value, which indicates that we can't meet the requested demand in this network configuration. We've implemented a new way of modelling demand, functionality that is available within the simulation options. You can implement your own curve as well as use a default one. You can decide to use pressure-dependent demand in the whole network or on a selection of junctions. When we consider pressure-dependent demand, you can see a drastic reduction in the flow through the boundary pipe. We can use the standard reporting functionality in InfoWater Pro to display the different flows in three configurations to appreciate the different results between demand-driven models and pressure-dependent demand models. The natural consequence of the flow reduction through the valve is fewer head losses through the system, generating more realistic results when we look at the pressure on remote junctions in the network. InfoWater Pro engineered to make life a bit simpler.